Let's get back to our headlines this morning. State leaders are still trying to figure out how to reopen the state. As for when that will happen, Channel 3's Caitlin Francis has a recap on what the governor discussed with Dennis House last night in a special live edition of Face the State. He had a lot to say, right, Caitlin? Yeah, Nicole. So May 20th was the date we've heard about as a potential launch point to reopen the state and the economy. But now Governor Lamont says that's changed a little bit. The governor did say, as you just mentioned, hospitalizations are trending down, which is leading a lot of people to ask when the state will reopen as nearly a third of people here in Connecticut are without jobs. Now, the answer after yesterday isn't as clear. Lamont says May 20th is just going to be an evaluation date. Instead, they want to see where the state stands with testing, contact tracing and PPE. Two thirds of the economy is still going strong, unlike a lot of our other states, uh, including manufacturing and uh, obviously health and other essential services. Um, but your bigger point is social distancing and uh, tamping this down, making a difference. I think the answer to that is yes. I mean, we were really worried that, that what you saw in Fairfield County, because that got uh, caught on fire by what was going on in New York, was going to go right up through New Haven and Hartford. And we've really mitigated that. We've uh, held down the nature of the surge. Our hospitals had capacity. Nobody was turned away for any reason. So... Uh, I, I think it is making a real difference. This could have been a lot worse. And the governor says we need to continue practicing social distancing, staying home, wearing face coverings while we're in public if we want to see those numbers continue to trend downward. And in terms of flattening the curve, Nicole, the reopened CT advisory group thinks we're probably two to three weeks behind New York. So we'll have to pay attention to those numbers. Yes, very important. Thank you, Caitlin.